Hey curl friends and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to trim your own natural hair. If you're suffering from shedding and hair loss, it may be time for a trim. I like to use the dusting method, which is pretty much just twisting your hair two nights or a night before and cutting off those see-through ends. I know y'all see them straggly ends. They have got to go. I'm using a cape from my cosmetology kit. You guys know I do hair, so I have a little cape and I went ahead and just spun it around so that I'm able to collect all the hair on the cape and not on my shirt. I'm going to go ahead and section off my hair using some butterfly clips just to make this process a lot more easier. You'll be able to control the hair more and figure out which pieces you've already done and which section you should move on to next. I'm just going to take one twist, rub my hands down the twist all the way down to the end and exactly where the hair is see-through and straggly is where you need to clip. Not exactly where the see-through part is but a little bit above it so that you're able to get the entire damage and shedding single strand knots off. Don't be afraid to cut above the damage, just a little bit above the damage to make sure that you're getting everything off because if you leave anything back, those split ends will continue to split up the hair shaft. If you're doing this at home, it's much more easier to trim your hair while it's in twist and while it is dry. Never cut your hair wet. It's like cutting a wet piece of paper or a wet piece of fabric. You'll just do more damage to your hair than what's already done. But if you are a beginner, doing this on twist is like the easiest way to have control over the hair. It's much more harder to cut hair when it's loose than it is with twists. If you wear your hair straight often, this may not be the technique for you, but if you mostly wear twist styles and wear your hair naturally curly this will be perfect for you it's just going to get rid of all that damage split ends and all the single strand knots that you guys have created and as y'all can see right here I have a little bit of heat damage a lot of bit of split ends I'm just making sure to cut all of those straggly ends off in the end, you should end up with super thick twists from root to tip. It should not thin out towards the end. It should be nice and even. That is an indicator of strong, healthy hair and that you've done your trim correctly. So you guys often ask how often do I trim my hair. I pretty much just trim as needed. When I start to see my twists come out really, really frizzy or I see a lot of shedding and breakage of my hair, that's when I know it's time for a trim. I usually do it on blow dried or straight hair, but I am on a no heat challenge, honey. So I'm going to be doing this on twists. And as you guys can see, all of my twists are nice and full. They look so much more healthier. And I want you guys to see how much hair I took off. It's not a lot of hair, literally like less than a half an inch on each and every twist. And it's just this little ball of hair. You do it a few months at a time and you don't lose a whole bunch of hair. And as you guys can see, the huge, huge difference in the ends of my hair and my twist out. My twist out is so nice and full and it just looks so much more defined and curly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that this trim helped you guys out with your DIY at home trims. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.